Hello, students. I'm Mrs. M. I'm your art teacher for this year. Every time we start a lesson, we are going to do a mantra. A mantra is something that you say to get you ready to make art, to get you ready to learn. Are you ready? I'm ready. I am an artist. I am an artist. I am creative. I am creative. I make mistakes. I make mistakes. But mistakes are great. But mistakes are great. Because they help us learn. Because they help us learn. Awesome. Are you ready to learn? Yeah. Today's special word is try. T-R-Y. That spells try. It means that even though your plan has changed or your art doesn't look what you thought it would be, you keep working. You may have thought it was going to be this, but instead it's turning out like this. Artists change their mind all the time and they keep on trying. For today's lesson, you will need a piece of paper. It could be white or it could be from a notebook and have lines on it, either one. You are also going to need something to color with. It could be markers. It could be crayons or it could be colored pencils. You will need paper and colors. Go ahead and get your supplies. So when you're ready to begin and you've got your paper in front of you and whatever color you would like, I want you just to make a mark. Go ahead and take the marker cap off or take your crayon and make a dot. It can be anywhere on your paper, make a dot. The next thing that you're going to do is you are going to draw a line. I'm going to draw a line and it could be a wiggly line, it could be a diagonal line or a vertical line. I want you to draw a line. After you've drawn a line, I want you to draw a square. Again, you can draw that square anywhere you want on your paper. So let's go back. I made a dot and I kind of colored it in a little bit. I made a line and I made a square because we just learned that if we use our imagination, a dot can be an artwork. A line can be an artwork. A square could turn into an artwork. So let's use our imagination, boys and girls, and let's think about how can we turn these three things now into some sort of artwork. I want you to maybe think about animals, cars, or even simply shapes. I don't know what I'm doing. I think, ooh, that actually looked like an eye. I think I'm gonna go around a few more times. And I think I'm gonna draw something that goes down here. Okay, mm -hmm. interesting. And I'm gonna give it a little smile, a little nose, a little nostril. And maybe I'm gonna do some spikes. So look how I'm using my imagination and I'm starting with a dot, a line, and now a square. What in the world is that square? Hmm, I don't know yet. Maybe it's gonna be the dinosaur's friend, a little bunny that is going to be riding and a little carrier. Oh, now that looks like an eye, but I wanted it to be a nose. So I'm gonna add another eye over here. And that's okay, because mistakes are great. And they help us learn. Now, as I'm going, I am thinking about how I can make this even better. I could color in. I could add details. Maybe I want to put some teeth on. I could add a background. That means what's around my picture or it also could be called the setting. Maybe I'm going to put my dinosaur outside.
Now I feel like this was kind of a mistake. I wonder what I could do. Do I have to work in this rectangle? No, I do not. I could change my paper. I could take a scissors. If I don't have a scissors, maybe I just want to rip. Look at that cool texture that I'm making. I'm gonna take that part off because I think that it would be better just to have this guy on here. And then I'm going to think about maybe putting some tall grass behind my little friend. Maybe I'm going to put um, a square up in the sun. And that actually, that square is going to be my sunshine. Who says the sunshine has to be round? Right? All right. Boys and girls, you're going to continue on your artwork now. Started with a dot a line and a square, and I felt like I made a mistake, so I ripped off the paper and I tried again. I made a square sunshine. There are no rules in art. You can decide what your picture should look like. Think like an artist.